हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द डिस्कशन ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ द पार्ट टू ऑन द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ टू ईयर ओल्ड मेल चाइल्ड इज ब्रॉड टू देल्थ केयर सेंटर विद फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी रेट ऑफ सिक्सटी पर मिनट विदाउट एनी चेस्ट इन ड्रॉइंग नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन द मैनेजमेंट इज ना हियर इफ यू सी दिस इज बेसिकली वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई एम एन सी आई क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द निमोनिया वन वी से इज देर इज नो निमोनिया वन यू से इज द निमोनिया एंड थर्ड यू से इज द सीवियर निमोनिया और वेरी सीवियर डिजीज वेरी सीवियर डिजीज नो निमोनिया मीन्स देर इज नो चेस्ट इन ड्रॉइंग द हार्ट द रेस्पिरेटरी रेट इज नॉर्मल एंड देर इज नो डेंजर साइंस बट इफ द रेस्पिरेटरी रेट इज इंक्रीज और देर इज चेस्ट इन ड्रॉइंग देर इज चेस्ट इन ड्रॉइंग और बोथ इट इज क्लासिफाइड एज निमोनिया सीवर निमोनिया यू ऑल नो इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द डेंजर साइंस सो इफ यू सी हियर वी आर बींग गिवन रेस्पिरेटरी रेट ऑफ सिक्सटी एंड इफ यू सी द रेस्पिरेटरी रेट बिटवीन सॉरी अबाउ वन ईयर ऑफ एज वी कंसिडर मोर देन और इक्वल टू फोर्टी इज एब नॉर्मल so it is given 2 year and 60 so therefore the respiratory rate is increased it will be classified as pneumonia and if a classifying at pneumonia you will start the oral amoxis line oral amoxis line oxygen therapy not required right i is mp plus gentamicin are given in severe pneumonia no treatment is no pneumonia but this is a case of pneumonia and what we expect in the examination is examiner will give you a case where he will write only chest in drawing present remember if only chest in drawing is present it is still classified as pneumonia and your answer should be oral amoxis line going to the next question five year old child has history of recurrent pneumonia the word is recurrent pneumonia and there is history of three episodes of diarrhea in the past on examination there is anemia and blood group matched blood was transfused on transfusion there is severe reaction most likely it is a case of a child having recurrent pneumonia child having diarrhea now if you start thinking you might think this is a cystic fibrosis or this can be iga deficiency in the celiac disease chances of recurrent pneumonia is not there so therefore it is ruled out and in the primary ciliary dyskinesia diarrhea is not there that is ruled out so we are left with now two things but in this cystic fibrosis how will you explain that when the blood was being given blood group matched why there was a reaction so this might be a case of iga deficiency now in the iga deficiency both secretory and circulating iga are deficient both secretory and circulating iga are deficient as secretory iga is decreased there will be increase in the incidence of pneumonia and diarrhea which is very well seen and if circulating iga is decreased what will happen in this person iga is not there in the blood so the particularly this particularly the lymphocytes they have never been exposed to this antigen so if this person takes a blood from another person and even if it is blood group matched from the donor iga antibodies will come to the host they will come to the host right now this ig antibodies when they will come to the host they will be something as a foreign substance in the host and that will react with them which will cause the uh, mismatch blood transfusion right so out of this if i choose the answer my answer should be selective iga deficiency right that is the way rule out and go to final answer then you will be going to the right answers question number 3 30 month old child comes with complaint of fever 101 and cough on chest x ray there is right middle lobe infiltrate right middle lobe infiltrate patient was examined twice in last month with diagnosis of right middle lobe infiltrates montuk's test is negative no other complaints most likely diagnosis is so again we follow the method of exclusion only now if you think of cystic fibrosis cystic fibrosis will affect both 
and moreover cystic fibrosis mainly affects the upper lobe and it will affect the both lobes of the lung right so it will be affecting both lungs so that is practically this is ruled out right this is something which is ruled out and moreover if you think of primary ciliary dyskinesia that mainly affects the lower lobes that mainly particularly affects the lower lobes right so that is also ruled out acute bronchiolitis that is also ruled out one the age is not there because it is most commonly seen in the first six months of life and can be seen up to two years of age up to two years of age so it is most likely what it is a most likely foreign body aspiration which has resulted in the localized pneumonia which has resulted in the localized pneumonia and which we are not able to remove unless and until that foreign body is removed the child will not recover because patient was examined twice in the last month so we are not able to correct the right thing so here the right answer goes in favor of the foreign body aspiration right i just followed the method of exclusion and i have come to the answer here then we go to the next question three year old boy has history of hacking cough that started several weeks ago and failed to respond to two courses of antibiotics his growth is normal on examination there is decreased air entry in the right lower zone with normal percussion note most appropriate next step is again we go particularly for the for the exclusion methods his growth is normal so basically there is not a sweat test which is there sweat test does not explain this so because it cannot be a case of cystic fibrosis in cystic fibrosis the growth is impaired start intravenous anti intravenous antibiotic therapy nothing is being given that there is fever or something so we do not go to the intravenous antibiotic therapy now idly speaking what we should do here idly speaking you should next advice is the bronchoscopy but bronchoscopy is not given in the choice here right if you start thinking of the bronchodilator response now in the bronchodilator response again asthma there can be some impairment of the growth and moreover there cannot be hacking cough hacking cough indicates something there is obstruction being present right so most likely here the right answer should be request a chest x ray and you might find a foreign body so this is the most likely right and moreover why not asthma they are just limiting it to the right lower zone right it is only a limitation but that cannot be seen in the case of asthma right so here the most appropriate answer which is being given is request a chest x ray but ideal answer should have been we should go for a bronchoscopy then we go to the last question a 2 year child is brought to the opd with height in the third percentile so height is less so we are saying here there is short stature and history of not gaining weight so the child is also not gaining weight there is past history of repeated sinus infection and pneumonia so you can say there is a history of repeated respiratory tract infection stools are greasy and contain mucus on physical examination when the patient came the patient coughs frequently which of the following is most effective for diagnosis right now if you start thinking we should measure the serum immunoglobulin level that might be it is a case of iga deficiency but that cannot explain the part greasy greasy means there is loss of fat in the stool right and that means it is recurrent respiratory tract infection along with loss of fat in the stool so this is rule this is being ruled out so what the diagnosis comes to in my mind is diagnosis comes is the cystic fibrosis cystic fibrosis now in the cystic fibrosis if i go for the bronchoscopy that is not i am going to get this if i go for the ct scan of the sinuses i will there is pain sinusitis that will not be helpful in the diagnosis so what will be helpful that will be the sweat chloride test sweat chloride test and it should be more than 60 ml equivalent per liter on at least two times at least two different occasions it should be more than 60 ml equivalent per liter right so that is what we say here is that therefore the right appropriate answer is to rule out this we should go for the sweat chloride test 
right so this is the questions on the respiratory system and the next video will be posting will be posting on the mcqs on the cardiovascular system thanks